it was an older guy that I knew that offered me crack cocaine for the first time. And my first experience was the amazing feeling that I ever felt before. Hey guys, season greetings to everybody out there. And I pray we all make it a C2022. So how you doing today? I'm all right. Great, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you. Well, what's your name? My name is Asia. Asia, okay, that's a you know beautiful name. How old are you, Asia? I'm 27. Wow, Asia is very, very young. 27, okay. Now, Asia, let's get right into it, dear. Let's get into your childhood. Paint us a picture. Um, my childhood was a very rough life. Um, single parent mom um, had to take care of me and my little brother. Dad was always locked up. Um, everything was living on the edge. Other than that, childhood life was just rough. Mom had to take care of me and my little brother going to school. And that's it. Hmm. Your dad was constantly in and out of jail, huh? Yes. How did you not have any, your dad in your life, you know, affect you growing up? Because you know daddy's little girl, right? Yes, I am. So, how did that affect your life, not having your daddy, you know, being that constant? Well, as me having my dad not around would have me more so looking for another, another way of finding that man comfort into boys and stuff like that. Wanting to be, you know, in a, a relationship early or than what I needed to be. Hmm. I would not come home if I if I had a relationship with a you know guy. I would be running the streets early life, coming up sixteen, living on the edge of trying to find some love in my life because of that daddy figure wasn't in my life. Yes, he always kept a, kept in contact my whole life. Not having him around had a lot of effect on my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Cause I believe if he was home through my years of life growing up, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today. Now, Asia, was there any you know drug use in your household growing up? Yeah, my mom was getting high early stage of my young days. Um, my mom would tell me and my little brother about her addiction life early, and my mom would use crack at my age of growing up, but she kept it real with me and my little brother growing up. So I always knew my mom had an addiction, and it would trail. It would trail for different ways of me and my mom to go through hard times. Tough love is something that I was always coming up with. So it was hard for me to deal with real love and real affection. Hmm. Yeah, that's deep. I don't believe in that tough love. To you, people that's watching this who think tough love work. It doesn't work for everybody, okay? Some people had tough love growing up, so, you know, you can't give them more tough love. Show sympathy and compassion, no tough love over here. So Asia, do you have any favorite childhood memories? Um, not too many. Honestly, no, I don't have any. Mm. Wow. Because I was, Growing up too fast. Hmm. Um, I would be in the bars before I was 21. Everything would be an age before I hit the age already 
experience life experiences and it was like when I got to that age point to the point where I was already already there and done it it was no fun so when I was actually available age to get into certain available age things that I was not supposed to be doing at that time yeah and that's happened with a lot of us you know teenagers wanting to be grown before our time now let's go in high school what type of student were you in high school self-centered wow um freshman year was the hard time for me because i'm just getting into you know the group of older of, uh, older teenagers that was more popular than me had more fashion than me and um i would be very you know, self-centered and not be around a lot of people. And then um, it came to a time where so that I just wanted to be down and was with whatever was going to make me cool. So I would cut school, miss days of class time. So it got to the point where so that I was missing too many credits already in school. So I wound up getting kicked out at the grade I didn't make I made it to ninth but I didn't make it to tenth so I didn't finish high school I don't have a high school diploma because of that reason and that was my fault sure okay now Asia, you know on this channel we're not here to shame or, or judge you we're just here to to educate people you know and spread awareness and what you're doing right now is a it's an amazing thing you're helping to make a difference in the world so always look at it that way because your story can help somebody else okay now let's get right into it what was the first drug you tried um we marijuana Okay. Pills was my addiction twist for years. Marijuana? And, and pills. And pills. What type of pills? Percocets. And why were you taking Percocets? It was something that I tried as growing up and got the like of the feeling off the drugs to it led to other drug habits okay. um, down the line. And right now I'm seven years in on crack cocaine. Mm. So is that currently your drug of choice, crack? Yes, it is. What other drugs? What other drugs do you use? That would be the only drug as now that I use. <laughs> Every other drug that I did use, it was not a a long lasting. We was one of the long lasting. Pills were one of the long lasting. Okay. Okay, who who introduced you to Percocets? I don't want to talk about that. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so now let's let's go to crack. How were you introduced to crack? Okay, I don't have a problem with telling you guys that. Because it's a story that is being told that offers peer pressure. And um it was an older guy that I knew that offered me crack cocaine for the first time. And my first experience was the amazing feeling that I ever felt before that made me like the drug choice. And um, it'd be seven years, going on eight years, that I began high. When he introduced you to crack, did he give you any type of warning where it was going to lead you to? No, there, there, there was no caution. Wow, do you have resentment towards him? Because look where you at now. So do you hate him for that? I do. Do you remember the first time, the first day you, you tried crack? The moment, you remember that moment when you did it for the first time? Yes, I do. How, how did it make you feel? A warm, hot sensation of being an open, free adult at that time. How long did that high last for? Um, it lasted, I mean, to the difference of me seven years in, it was a little bit more affectable before than so now. It's like to the point now I'm like not so interested in it as well so much more than I was. Hmm. 
but yet you still, you know, need it every day to carry on your daily, your daily yeah. life, right? Yes. Mm -mm. Okay, who knew about your, you know, your, your drug problem when you had them? Who knew about it? Everyone in my family. After a while, when I was like, coming home, missing out on different holidays, not coming home, seeing my family. And it was to the point where it was getting my mom very worried and stressed out. And it had me very emotional as well. Did your family try to get you help? Yeah. Well, so how did that go? What, what, what type of help did they help you with? Um, it was, it was hard, but I'm still trying to get better. What's the longest claim time you ever had? I don't. Okay. How many jars of crack would you say that you smoke every day? A little bit too many, over $200 worth a day. That's a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, crack can also cause you to have a heart attack, right? Yeah, it has side effects, but I have not had none of those. <clears throat> okay. And how much? And so you spend two hundred dollars a day. That's a lot of money to be coming up with every day. So how do you hustle this money? Do you have a job? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We'll skip that. Now, Asia. So let's move forward. What do you have to battle every day out here in Kensington? Um, the struggle, the sacrifices that we make every day. Um, I have a home to live at, but I choose to be out in the streets. Why? Wow. It's dangerous out here, Asia. You see, you're a very young girl, and you're not, you know, a big girl. You're a little tiny girl, so how do you carry on in this, in, in this place right here? How do you survive out here and without people messing with you? How, how do you protect yourself? I keep myself out of trouble and stay away from the environments that's negative. What's the worst thing that has happened to you since you've been out here in Kensington? Um... Uh, I really can't say too much because this is not my um, area of where I live. Mm -hmm. So I only come down here every now and then when I'm doing me. However, traveling is one of my things that I do. I don't stay in one area. I travel to different areas. Okay. So where do you sleep? On the streets right now. As On the sleep. streets? Like you mean like in the open? In the open, that's what you're telling me you No, sleep? in the shelter. In the shelter, okay, in the shelter. So is that where you at currently right now, in the shelter? Yes. Don't they have curfews in the shelters? They have curfews, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, so how long have you been in the shelter now? Um, two weeks. What do you, how, how is it like in there? It's living, you mean, you live in your life of every day. What do you hate most about living in a shelter? I don't hate living in a shelter because it's there for them to help me. Okay, so you are, you know, taking this help that they're offering you? Yes, I am. Okay, okay, you're doing great, Portia. We're almost there. What advice do you have for the younger generation who are thinking about coming down this path you're on? Is to keep positive notes and not feel peer pressure on anything that's offered to you in life. Stay positive and one mind attracted and not think that you have to be down with just anything to be cool. That's excellent. So what's the most important thing to you in life right now? Is to do better to get better because I have a daughter. Oh, how old is your daughter? She's seven. Is she with family? Or, or yeah, she's sister? home with family. Okay, that's good. She being, she's getting well taken care of. 
What was the happiest day in Asia life? Uh, I don't know. Okay, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> you gotta go all the way back and it's, sometimes it's too many things to go back through, right? Yeah. So you can't remember. What's your greatest fear, Asia? What scared you the most in life? Um, being happy. Being happy scared you? Yeah, because it's like, it'd be too untrue to be happy. More so believing that it's true to be happy. So you think this life that you're living is a normal life? No, it's not. Okay. So that's why I believe that it's solid get better. Absolutely, and you deserve that. What's your biggest struggle right now as far as getting clean, you think? I don't have any. And you think you can do it on your own? I believe I can do it on my own. Do you have support from any friends or family to be there with you through this process? Yeah, my mom. Your mom, okay. Are you tired? Yeah. You're sleepy? Yeah. So I just got to ask you some off-topic question, and we're done, okay? Okay. Okay, Asia, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Hey, blue is a lot of people's favorite color these past couple of days. Mm -hmm. Asia, if you could spend a day with your daughter, what would you do? Everything that makes her happy and knowing that everything that I do with my daughter, she's always happy with. Okay. What month were you born in? September. September. So, what is your zodiac sign? Virgo. Yo, shout out to all the Virgos. Show your sign some love. Asia, what are some of your favorite foods? Pizza. Anything else? Chicken, French oh, fries, all pizza, type of soul chicken, food. Chicken, soul food too. Now, when you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? Struggle, pain, hurt, emotions, this. Mm. Okay. When you were a little girl, Asia, when you were a little girl, what do you want to become when you grow up? Um... Home care. Home care. Okay, you like taking care of people? Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, Asia, are you currently in a relationship? No. What do Asia look for in a partner? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really know. Okay, all else. right. Do you have a favorite clothing store you like to shop in? No. To your okay. friends and your family, if they were supposed to see this video, what message would you like to send to them? is I would definitely love to see myself do better and get better and hopefully this video will motivate everyone out there to see something in me that I know that I can be Absolutely. no matter what. That's beautiful. Asia, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> a tiger. <laughs> why, why a tiger? Uh, I, I believe tigers are more Aggressive, huh? Uh huh. More aggressive. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. So now this one would be if you had to pick one or the other, Asia. If you had to pick to fly or to be invisible, which one would you pick? To fly. Yeah. Every time somebody say to fly, it just melts my heart because they were my team. We're the bird gang. Why you chose to fly? Because at the end of the day, we want to be free. Beautiful. She said it the best, guys. And that's what I'm all about, freedom. Uh -huh. I like my freedom. So she hit that right on the spot. That was beautiful. You know, there are a lot of people in this world who don't understand addiction because they can relate. They never experienced it. God bless them. So for us who have been caught up in the drug world and these people look down on us, call us criminals, call us junkies. What do you have to say to these people? Is who cares what they think? We still gonna be who we are as human beings. That's junkie or no junkie. I'm not I'm not everyone that they assume. I'm different. Just was anyone else could be. Yeah, yeah, you heard that. Exactly. I'm feeling her on that and that's real talk. So Asia, if you had three wishes in this world, what would your three wishes be? Is love, peace, and soul. 
<laughs> Yo, she is funny. Okay, this final question now to take us home, Asia. If you had a message to send to the world, what would your message be? Is to be positive and stay strong and don't let nothing take you down. Beautiful. Asia is a very intelligent young lady, guys. She has it all still together. And I wish her all the best. It was a pleasure meeting you, Asia. I nice want to tell to meet you, you, thank you so much for your time. And we're going to stay connected. You know, once I put somebody in front of this camera, this is not the last. We, I'm with you on this journey. Do you have any hobbies that you like to do? Any talents that you have? Yes, I like to sing and rap. That just blew me away because you know Mal is trying to start a music group for us. So maybe Asia could be one of the artists. You got some bars you want to spit for us? Give us a sample. Okay. We have to take advantage of your talent. We can't let it go to waste. Okay, AML family, thank you so much for checking out Asia's story. If there, Asia, is there anything that you're in need of that we can help you with? Clothes, resources, anything that you're in need of? Not at this moment, no. Okay. All right, so guys, thank you so much. Have a great holiday. Asia, I'll see you around, and hopefully one day your story can be a success and we could be doing music videos and going on tours and stuff, all right? All right. So, hey, guys, remember, don't be bitter, be better. AML Films, until next time, we out there. Peace out. Driving me insane Silence rattles in